Hi everybody, welcome to today's live tutorial. Today we are going to be talking all about looking good on Zoom, looking good on camera, and I consider myself kind of an expert because we are live now and all of my YouTube videos are also live. So I know all about lighting, all about how to do your makeup for that. So I'm gonna give you my best tips. So I would like to welcome our model, Marissa. Hi. She is beautiful and <laughs> we're so happy to have her beautiful face. So I have a method for just some quick tips to looking good online. So I know when we do Zoom, you're a teacher. I am. So she, Zoom is like your life right now. <laughs> like you <Yes>. know. <laughs> so she knows. So I know most of us are not going to do like, you know, full glam. You guys probably won't have the studio set up. So I'll have you maybe give like your setup tips and I will give the makeup tips. So I have a four step method and it's quick guys. So it is brows, lips, color, curl. So I'm gonna demo that for you today. You can do nothing else. If you don't even wanna do foundation, concealer, you can do nothing else but these four things and you're gonna look great. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna start with lips because those honestly make the biggest difference. We're gonna go over, I am going to mix her a couple, like a custom color. So we're gonna do like a berry on her. So I like a pop. I like a bold lip for on camera. So we're gonna do a berry um, but I want to warm it up a little bit. This berry is like very cool. So we're gonna add some of this very punchy sort of coral color and mix those together. And we'll see how you like this. Okay. You do not, she does not like bold lips. But I'm not, yes, <laughs> she I'm a little gave, afraid of the bold. She, she did, but she <laughs> gave me the liberty to do yes. whatever. So we're gonna do it. So the reason I like a bold lip is I feel like especially with the quality of zoom and stuff like that it's not it's not the best like we're 4k right now like you see everything in a good way um but on <laughs> zoom it's you know usually the lighting's not great whatever so it kind of doesn't matter what you do to your eyes or what you do even contouring and stuff like that you're not gonna see it but you're gonna see the lips if you have a well-defined lip um even if it's a nude and not a bold it's gonna look great you're gonna look super put together um, but if you do do a punchy color like this, you're going to look really put together. You are going to wow your colleagues. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, <laughs> she looks so great. So it is, it's awesome. It's fun too. You feel cute when you have like a nice bold color. Probably gets depressing to be sitting in front of your computer all day. <laughs> you want a little pick me up. Sorry, you can't really talk when I'm doing the <laughs> So I feel like, um, I'm going to ask you about lighting and stuff in a second, but I feel like a lot of people were in kind of dimly lit rooms and stuff like that and no features really stand out. That's another reason I like a big, kind of a bold color is fun. You do need to take a little bit of time though when you're, oh I hate this brush, I'm going to switch. Um, when you are doing like a brighter lip, you do really want to get really nice clean edges. So what I like to do is I just like to go ahead and quickly fill everything in and then I like to go and perfect my lines that's why I don't like this brush it's flaring out a little bit so and we're live guys so if you guys have any comments or questions we have your sister in the chat shout Hi, out Monica. to Monica hello <laughs> Okay, I actually love this color on you. I'm really excited for you <laughs> to see <laughs> to it. To see it. <laughs> okay. You can probably see a little bit in the camera. It ended up pulling. It's kind of like a like a berry with like a lot of warmth to it. Okay, so I'm just gonna get this as nice as possible and probably right when we're done since we're live i'm really going to clean up those edges for our after picture so I feel like when i do a bold lip i could work on it all day okay so after this i also want to add we're going to do color so i like to add color to the face um if you just do a bold lip and nothing else sometimes you can look a little tired like a little washed out in the rest of the face um, so I will show you what I like to do for that so also why I'm doing this we're gonna talk about my um, my second tip 
which is brows. So brows completely frame the face. They make the biggest difference out of almost everything you do. They lift the eyes, they open things up, they make you look more awake. Um, and you don't need a bold, bold, heavy brow, but it does help to just pencil it in real quick. And a pencil is gonna be the fastest. So just give your brows a little quick, little quick shape. So we actually have a before video we took before we did um, the brows or anything like that. Just because, <laughs> don't be nervous. You look just super great. You are just perfect. You don't need any makeup. But we'll go ahead and flash that so you guys can see pre-brows. Because we're live, I'm not going to do the brows on camera. Um, but we'll show you the before and you guys can see see the cute brows, but they make a really big difference in helping you look put together. And also on video, the shape of your brows is visible while your eyeshadow might not be. So honestly, if these four tips that I'm giving you, you could skip everything else. Like your eyeshadow isn't seen as much as you would think. A lot of people spend a lot of time on eyeshadow because day to day, it does make a difference. But on Zoom, like when you're doing a stream from your cell phone or something like that, you're probably not really gonna see all the work you put into your eyeshadow, but you will see your brows and your lips and the coloring you did on your face and stuff like that, so. Okay. No, go for okay, it. Okay, so, we back, well, kids, back in college, um, it was early 2000s, it was late 90s, and so I plucked my brows so badly. Oh, no. <laughs> so they, didn't, they haven't really grown back in. Okay. So I do have to line them because if not, if, I don't know if they show the before, before picture or not. Uh -huh. They are super thin. <laughs> <laughs> they're like not even there. That the is like <laughs> such the case with so many people. And they're not, you actually have pretty good brows. They were like a little sparse. Like I felt like just lightly penciling them made a world of difference. Thank you. But yeah, no, it's so true. We're, we're the to, 90s babies. The 90s They're babies. The early 2000s, yeah. We yeah. like, no, we like our thin brows. And <laughs> <laughs> it's true, guys. So I'm just actually mixing up a cheek color for her. Okay. So we need to add a teeny bit more to your lips. Okay. Let me see which one to me. And what you can do too when you do a bold lip is you can take a flat brush with some concealer or foundation on it and you can clean up those edges. So I'll, I'll go back to the lips later, but this is, you can see, like even just these lips on her, it's so pretty <laughs> and you, you just look put together and done. So next Thank what you. we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to my tip color. So if you have a bold lip, like I said, sometimes it can make the rest of your face look like a little, a so I just like to add on a pop of cream blush and we're gonna do sort of a light peachy tone and you don't want to do much if you have like a nice bold lip on you don't need much blush I love the cream because look how quick it's going on like we're done and it was just little 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 taps and it just adds some life to the face and it's very very and the cream blush just makes you look like you're glowing from within. It doesn't look heavy. And it's also fantastic if you wanted to skip the foundation or anything like that. You can just throw in some cream blush and it is great. Um, I'm going to wipe this off on my hand before, <laughs> before I cut it down. <laughs> so you're looking great. So my fourth tip is curl. So we want to curl the lashes. It makes your eyes look so open and so pretty. So I definitely recommend if you want to skip liner, if you want to skip eyeshadow, sure, but curl your lashes. And then either add mascara to hold the curl or you can add on a strip lash. Um, and actually, I'm so much faster at putting on a strip lash than I am on like going in and getting the mascara really nice. Oh, okay. So I'm going to put on um, some lashes on you today. Yay. Plus, you said you were excited. You wanted I am, to wear yes. the lashes. I try to put on lashes <laughs> all the time, and it doesn't work very well, so I can get one. You can get one? I can get one of them. <laughs> Is, like, one side better? I I don't know. If it's I, Maybe it depends on where my mirror's at yeah. in my bathroom, and so whatever I can see closer, or I don't yes. know. I don't know. what. I have no <laughs> idea why. I haven't perfected the science on that. 
but I'm going to work on it. Yes, you just need practice. Does that pinch at all? No. Okay. So I, even with the strips, I love the curl. I love it. And you have like crazy, amazing, thick, beautiful lashes. (laughs) They're so pretty, but they do grow kind of down. So you, the curl is good. Does that pinch at all? No. Okay. So I like to curl before the lashes and then sometimes I'll curl after, especially if the lashes grow kind of downwards. Because even with the strips, you want them to curl. Okay, good. Go ahead and look forward. And even that, you can tell that, like, because she has dark lashes, you can tell even that. Just open your eyes right up. Okay, we're going to do the strips. We are going to put in some lash glue. So I like the Callus brand glue. Is this the one you've tried? No. This is good because it dries fast. Okay. That's what you were saying. You hated. it. Yes. Right? Was I have no time? idea what the dry time is. Is it, did I do it too long? I, and I have waited too long before. So yeah. then it doesn't stick well. Um, and then I've waited not long enough. And then it doesn't, yeah. I can't find the right time. I should time. start timing it. No, it's all about yes, the time. Like time that's it. the hard part of lashes. But this one dries fast because like the duo brand everyone loves and it's so good. Maybe that's, so even that's the, the one brand. you have. Yes, yeah. I have to. It is so good, but I feel like it takes like a full minute. Which, when you're doing your makeup and you want to be done in like ten minutes, a full minute—that's like a tenth. Well, of then time. maybe I'm not waiting long enough. <laughs> I don't know. I Try don't to know. wait a minute. Or okay. this one is from Amazon. It's, um, okay. it's like twenty to thirty seconds dry time. It's okay. Better. Okay. I'm we'll gonna see. make you time it next time. Okay, I'll <laughs> time. Next one will time. Or it. someone comment. Yeah, we'll have producer want to start a, a someone timer. Someone start the timer. <laughs> Aww, someone said you're so pretty. I know. Aww. Isn't she beautiful? You're so pretty. You have a little bit of lipstick on your teeth. Smile for me. I'm just gonna come in front of the camera so they don't see me washing it up. Thank you. Go ahead and you lick your lips. Oh, well. perfect. Okay, you're good. Okay. You're good. You're good. Okay. About 30 seconds. Okay, do I close? Uh, look down, but don't close. Okay. So if you close, um, the glue is going to migrate, and it could get into your lower lash line and kind of stick things together or something. So I always just have people look down to flatten out the lid, and then you can blink if you need to, but just stay looking down. Don't close yet. Okay. I'm going to get the glue on this one, and we will have producer Kelly time it. <laughs> so get, get your phone out. Open your timer up. <laughs> I always say 30 seconds. I have timed it when I've done my own before. But that was good. Whatever I did on that, I was good. I'll tell you when to go. First, we're going to get the glue on. And I'll kind of show you. Really quickly, though, it doesn't feel stuck. And that's the point? Yes. Okay. Yes. You don't want it to feel stuck. Okay. But you do, you are kind of aware of them. Like, they might feel a little wet. Like, you still put them on tacky. Okay. I'll show you how much I put on. So, I just do, like, you definitely want enough. And you just want to get it corner to corner. Okay. So a little like line. Is that about how much you do? Uh, no. Less, more? I think I do more. Okay. Let's see. Okay, go, Kelly. (laughs) We're going to time it. So about that much. I feel like most people don't get enough on the corner. And then, and don't, don't um, do this. Because then I think. Oh, don't don't fan it? Don't fan it. Okay. Because then I think. That is it because it she, yeah, did, it, did she fan for five seconds yeah. and then let it wait for 30? I, I'm very true. calculated. Okay. <laughs> it's your, the teacher in you. We're being specific. Oh, yeah. Okay. We are timing the lash. <laughs> Tell me when we get to 20 seconds. Oh, we're and 26. then Oh, we're 26. Oh, okay. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay. See how you kind of touch it and it, like, is tacky to the finger? Like... That's good. Okay. Like, it's still wet. You don't want to wait too long. What are we at? 41. 41. Okay, we're going to try 41. Okay. Man, time flies. Right. When you're doing lashes. Yeah, 40. Well, 41 works for this glue. I feel like it would have worked at 32. Well, 41's perfection. No, no, no. Yay. If you own Palace glue, 41 <laughs> second timer is good. But you also have to put on the the same amount no that honestly literally was perfect so it should be like a little bit wet when you put it on so it's like tacky because if it's all the way dry and I think I'm I maybe I'm I feel like I was waiting longer than that for Mm. sure I'm gonna fan you though 
so I can curl them and put mascara. Okay. So usually if I do strips, I'll do the strips and then I'll go do something else on the face. Like I'll go do lips or something like that. Okay. Because you want it to be all the way dry before you go to curl it and put mascara uh, on it. Otherwise it like lifts it off. So that's okay. why I'm fanning you a little bit more because okay. I'm going to go right into the lashes. But why do you tell me your tips? Where do you put, do you do Zoom on um, phone or computer? So I do Zoom on computer. Um, one of the things that I think it's simple, and I don't know if people know this, but do not do Zoom with the window behind you. Oh, behind. Behind you. So um, I do have um, a sliding glass door kind of where I'm at, but I made sure that I'm at least turned because it creates a silhouette. So oh, even yeah. when the blinds are closed, people think that it it doesn't feel um, light to them. Yes. But the light shines through, and it creates a, like a blur, um, a silhouette. Like when you're backlit, kind of? When you're backlit, yeah. yeah. So make sure that you have either light that's overhead or um, a window or something that's in front of you, and so you can see you can see each other. My students, a lot of times, yes. they'll sit right in front of a window, and I cannot, I don't even know who it is sometimes. So I say, can you just turn your oh, that's so computer funny. a little bit so I can see who you are? It's just, it creates a silhouette. That's a good tip, because if the light's behind you, you're probably like, oh, I see everyone great, but they cannot exactly. see your face. Exactly. You yeah. see everything great, but yeah, because it's behind don't. you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So for lighting, for sure. Her eyes are a little bit watery, so the black, we used black glue. No, that's a great tip. I'll always take, and I feel like rooms are kind of set up like that, where the best like place is like the lights always behind you. Like I always take pictures of my little daughter and the lights behind her, and you just are black, like you know, yeah, it's black like, it's, or fuzzy. Yeah. Like your edges are fuzzy, not as clear. It's yeah, it's um, you can only see part of your face. Um, and also, those Zoom has what's funny is I don't know if it was on my laptop, but on my computer, my desktop. It gives a little bit more options on Zoom, mm -hmm. and you can actually soften your appearance. So, like when you Ooh, were saying, like a filter. Yeah. Okay. So, like when you were saying this you don't, <laughs> we need this. <laughs> when you were saying like you don't really need foundation or concealer, yeah. it's so true because if you click that button, it kind of it softens your skin. Oh my gosh! But like you said, you're gonna feel. Um, you need color you and need lips. Color and lip. mm -hmm. Curl and brows. You need those yeah. things to know about. Okay, well, that is perfect. That makes my video even more relevant. And you already have good skin. I think a lot of people um, do. You don't need that. Oh, okay, so tell us, what button is this? So if or you go into, I know that, so I have downloaded Zoom on my computer, so I don't just go through the website. Okay. And so it brings up, I, don't, I think they call it the client, and that's the app. Okay. And so when you go into settings and you go into video, it will say like soften or something okay. like that. So it's it just say, called so like it'll yeah. be apparent. What it'll it be is. apparent, and then what it Looks does is me. it okay. shows an example of your video when you're looking at the setting. So anytime you change it, you can see the difference. So if oh, you're not cool. really sure what you clicked, you can tell from the video. Oh, sweet. Can you test it out before you start? Like before yes. you start. So you do your... have to go into settings before you start your um, Zoom call. Okay. So you go into the, the settings first, and then you go to video. And I like it because I don't, I mean, we're working from home, and so I, I can close, actually. Okay. I don't wear face makeup when yeah. I'm teaching. <laughs> I don't blame you, especially with the soften filter. Yeah, there's a soften Why? filter. And my kids are always so sweet, you know, even if I'm not looking the best, oh. they do not mention it. <laughs> Well, you are so gorgeous. There's like no such thing as like Thank you not looking your best. Well, but. when my first year of teaching, I decided to braid my hair the night before one night, mm -hmm. and the next day my hair was really crimped, and I thought it was so cute. And uh -huh. I went to my fifth grade class, and a little boy told me he goes, "It looks like you stuck your finger in an electrical socket." Oh. And fifth grade, I, fifth grade, and I tried to pretend like it was nothing, but oh. really it hurt so bad. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. We're sensitive. Sure, it looked great. But I've learned that kids, they just say what's on their mind. <laughs> and he meant no harm by yeah. it. He, I think he was just trying to describe my look in words that he knew. Well, he's probably that's, trying to be like cute and funny too. Yes. Like, oh, that's yes. because, you know, kids like that sense of yes. humor. My son thinks he's a class clown, so <laughs> I get that. They like to laugh, they like to have fun. <laughs> so funny. So even though your natural lashes are black, I'm still going to put mascara on because it just like meshes them with the, the fake lashes. 
So I used black lash glue on you, even knowing your eyes are watery. And sometimes if you're, does that ever happen when you put the lashes on, like the water a little bit and the corner will lift off? Yes. So for you, I would say clear glue, which is probably what you have, right? I do. Okay, so clear in case you water. And then what I did, like your eyes did water in the corner lifted. You just put glue on that corner and leave it on your eye and let it kind of dry. And then you push it back in. Oh, okay. And it will fix it. I think actually a lot of people have that problem, especially like when you're new to lashes. Like even if your eyes aren't watery, like sometimes poking yourself in the eye so much, it's like they'll start to water. Yes. It makes it hard. Okay, look up for me. We're just going to do some mascara on the bottom. So like I said before, I mean, we started her with some foundation and I did a little little bit of eyeshadow, but you can completely skip that because we have the smoothing filter, so no foundation. Yeah. <laughs> Not that you need. And honestly, like nobody even needs makeup for Zoom or these, like whatever you want. But if you would like, I know some people would like some tips and stuff so that's what this video is here for but you do not need to be wear makeup you do not need it but it's it's fun well I have another cousin doing an interview this week on zoom so I think it's important during those times too where you're trying to make a good impression yes and maybe not so much if you're teaching you know yeah. six-year-olds but if you're in a conference call or you're trying to make a good impression with the client yeah I agree because even though like things you know are opening back up and stuff, I think business, businesses have seen how good Zoom can be yes. in online stuff. So I think going forward, there will still be a lot of it. So well, it's good. quick, it's easy, and yeah, it's quick, easy, yeah. fun. Well, mm -hmm. you look beautiful. Thank you. You are the best. Thank you for joining <laughs> me. How beautiful does she look, guys? She is amazing. <laughs> Let's flash her before um, one more time so you guys can see. We just basically brought definition to the areas that are really going to be seen, whether you're in 4K like we are or whether you're on whatever 720 phones are, laptops are. Um, just some color, some life, some awakeness, some Christmas. She looks very put together. If you had an interview, <laughs> you look great. So said these are great tips. Thank you. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We will be live again next Monday, and we'll see you then. And thank you for modeling. Bye. Bye. <laughs>